Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. It is said that when a person takes too long to choose, there is a possibility that that person ends up with the leftover. Report reaching us right now is that Oni of Ife had to drop everything that he had to do to rush to Olori Nami in the royal mansion. Um, the reason happens to be that Nami Express has dissatisfaction over Oni of Ife's disposition towards, you know, the Olori's um, royal duty. Now, um, if you know, there is something that is confusing, very, very confusing with these um, stories that have been making the rounds on social media. And that is also confusing to me, Dell, and it's confusing to a whole lot of people. Now, um, um, like the information we are hearing right now, they said there is some kind of traditional calabash that if Oni of Ife decides to break that calabash um, on a wife, not only, not only will that wife not be married to the monarch again, the wife will not be allowed into Ile Ife again. The wife will be like the relationship between that woman and the Oni of Ife will be severed for life completely. And they said that um, because of certain things that have happened recently in the palace, the only of Ife has decided that he it is time he wants to break that calabash on um, some of his oloris. But the question that a lot of people are asking, how is it possible that you truly want to divorce these oloris and you truly want to make do with them? I think if, by the grace of God, if I come live on... Saturday, uh, should I have the time to come live? I'm going to bring this question. I will ask people like Momiabe and all other great Yoruba people to explain to me because I don't understand this. Because the last time I checked, if somebody is unhappy in a relationship or in a marriage and they don't want the marriage anymore or anything, one thing they do is that they seek divorce. But before the divorce, there is this natural separation that happens. But we are hearing that this thing that is going on between the Oni of Ife and this Oloris has got to do with royal duties. So that is how royalty is done. They said, yes, that is how royalty is done across the globe. Well, okay, so, but right now, we heard that Oni was very engaged. I had to meet with a lot of people in the palace and all of that, but Oni of Ife had to drop everything, rush to Olori Naomi because Olori Naomi has expressed grievances over Oni of Ife's disposition to the Oloris, to their royal duty. Now, Oni of Ife is said to be very, very upset with some of these Oloris, very unhappy with them. And um, uh, maybe... Um, from what we are hearing, because I did ask the question, they said they do uh, royal duties for three months. Now, um, if a three month royal duty has been signed, that that those people who are on that duty roster will work until the three months and they will prepare another one. And they said that Dr. Elizabeth happens to be the one that is in charge of the royal duty. Now, the question is that, um, over the weekend, um, Ikmi was with Oni of Ife, Blah Blah was with Oni of Ife, and Gospel was with Oni of Ife. They attended some, I think maybe a birthday or some kind of anniversary together and all of that. I do know that when it comes to the way they relate right there, you can really see that there, there's really no attraction. There's nothing. You can see that it's plain, okay? But, and of course, you do not expect the owner of Ife to wash his dirty linen out there. I do understand that part. But the thing is that if you really want, you're so upset with this women to a point where you're ready to break the calabash. So why uh, keep this kind of close relationship with them? Even though a lot of people tell you the relationship is not close, it has to do with royal duties. I feel like the royal duty roster, does it not, they, can they amend it? That is the question. But they said, Olori Naomi um, had to express how she felt about the royal duty, that only of the first disposition towards these women is encouraging rather than discouraging. That KBSC needs to tell her what, 
he wants her to do. And they said, when this happened, they said even Reverend Esther Ajay has spoke, spoken to Olori Naomi not to allow people to um, try and pressure her and also try to influence how she thinks about on your affairs. She should forget about royal duty or no royal duty. Whether the wives want to be climbing on your affairs head while they are out there in the public, making all the uh, all the gestures and, you know, with all the shenanigans that Queen Naomi should care less, that Queen Naomi needs to know what she's doing and needs to know where she is, that, yes, so this has got to do with nothing other than the royal duties. But they said immediately Queen Naomi expressed her dissatisfaction over what is going on, especially uh, the fact that at this time where Oni of Ife is saying he does not want the relationship again, but they are still where they are. Oni of Ife had to go to the royal mansion to meet with Queen Naomi to uh, speak to Queen Naomi and let Queen Naomi know that she doesn't have to look at what is happening with uh, the royal duty or anything, that um, uh, Naomi should know that it's royalty, that is how it works, and that is how it's going to continue to work until, you know, um, um, things are fixed. That KBIC has made up his mind, they said from what he was saying to Lori Naomi, that what's come to us, because there is a lot of politicking and a lot of, it, it, they said a lot is even happening, including that royal duty thing, that KBSC is saying that he wants the calabash to be broken. Now, my question is this, if you have not been able to separate yourself from these women in terms of royal duties, now, when there is a royal call, you have to get up and go with them. Are you sure you're ready to break a calabash? Are you sure you're ready to, put them in a place where they don't come at all, like they don't come anywhere to um, close to you? Is that what this um, the, the, the monarch really wants? Uh, would that not be too drastic? And does he really want to do that? Because the thing is, that there's got to be some kind of mental preparation before you take this kind of drastic step. I'm not saying he shouldn't. I am saying that let us start the amendment from the royal duties. Because you cannot be saying today you want to leave them, you want to break Calabash, you don't want them, you don't want them. Yes, they said the restriction is on, and I applaud him for the restriction. I applaud the fact that they said the lorries are on their own. They come and they go, even though they don't want people to know. That is great, okay? If all the information we keep getting on social media is the truth, because I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, neither am I related to them or related to anyone who is related to them. I'm just a blogger. When I get an information, I reenact it and I post it here, telling you that whatever you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. I appreciate you guys so much. Lovely Della writes, I love you guys. I'm going to bring you more update. But they said Oni ran to Queen Naomi to go and apologize to let her know that she needs to hold on. She needs to stay still. She needs to be focused that he knows exactly what he is doing. Going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.